Hello my friends, today we are going to talk about grenades. Grenades are defined as a bomb that is either thrown by hand or launched mechanically. A common type of explosive grenade is the fragmentation grenade, whose iron body, or case, is designed to break into small, lethal fast-moving fragments. Such grenades usually weigh no more than 2 pounds, 0.9 kilograms. Explosive hand grenades are used for attacking the personnel in foxholes, trenches, bunkers, pillboxes, or other fortified positions and in street fighting. Example Urban Warfare Now let's look into the history of the Fragmentation Grenade. The Fragmentation Grenade or MK2 to be exact was introduced by the United States Armed Forces in 1918. There are multiple variants created by different countries but we will focus on the American Fragmentation Grenades. As I said, Fragmentation Grenades can be thrown by hand or launched mechanically by M7 Grenade Launcher, introduced in the war at the end of 1941. The launcher attachment for the M1 Garand rifle that saw widespread use throughout World War II and the Korean War. The M7 was a tube-shaped device, with one end sliding over the muzzle of the rifle and attaching to the bayonet mount, and the other end holding the grenade in place. Blank cartridges were loaded into the rifle prior to firing. Then a grenade would be launched and can reach a distance of 200 yards. Today there is a modern variant of the M7 grenade launcher with the name M203 grenade launcher capable of shooting grenades or smoke grenades that are non-lethal, instead they disperse a smoke cloud. The M203 does not need to be mounted at top of the barrel and loaded with blanks. This more modern grenade launcher is mounted underneath the rifle. The M203 shoots 40mm grenade. There are other tools to launch grenades, for example, the M78 grenade launcher. Enough history now how does fragmentation work? The fragmentation grenade has eight parts to it. Let's start with the inside, striker. Striker pin, detonator, percussion cap, and chemical delay. Now the outside, steel body that creates fragments, safety pin, and striker lever. To make the grenade work one must pull the safety pin but this alone does not make the bomb go out so you can hold it and nothing will happen. This is useful if you want to aim the grenade precisely. For example using a technique where you put your hand out in the general direction you want to throw the grenade for a better shot. To actually make the bomb go off after pulling the safety pin you must also let go of the lever, now this will make it go off for sure. The grenade works like this, first safety pin is pulled, lever is let go go, letting the striker go down hitting the percussion caps starting the chemical reaction, this normally takes 4 seconds to reach the detonator, after the detonator is hit the bomb goes off. Grenades, though small, can cause great injury and death. The fragmentation grenade is capable of tearing human limbs off. The fragmentation grenade is still used today. The modern United States military grenade is the M67 fragmentation grenade. That has been it folks don't forget to subscribe to grow my channel so I can put out more education content like this. Also check out my how lethal is a shotgun video to educate yourself on the lethality and power of a shotgun.